Ahoy mateys and welcome to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Today we will be setting sail on this uh, ocean of sand to hunt the biggest monster in the game, the Jin Moran. It's a quite unique hunt, if I do say so myself, because there's a lot more mechanics that you have to deal with than usual. For starters, you're on a boat. So that's pretty different from any other hunt you've done before. Uh, pickaxe, do I want to take the pickaxe? I'll definitely want to take the bombs and these things. And I'll take the pickaxes, why not? I'm gonna need them anyway. Demon drug, armor skin. Because this mission is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Pretty sure, uh, pretty much I had no idea how you're supposed to ever do this by yourself. If you want the Gen Moran's parts, just do it online, it's much easier. Anyway, I am wearing new armor. This is the Steel Uragan G-Rank armor. Figured it would be appropriate for this mission because, really, you're not gonna kill this thing by yourself. Pretty much you can only repel it. So yeah, we're on a boat, and holy shit, that's the thing we're fighting. It's, uh, yeah. It's big. I think there was like a size video that had the thing at about 110 meters. Not sure how many feet that is because, you know, the metric system is vastly superior. But holy crap, it can do backflips. Yeah, that's the thing we're supposed to be fighting with our little exploding pointy stick. Oh boy. So first of all, what you might want to do is grab as much ballista ammo. Oh, I'm already at maximum. Okay then. Good to know. If that's the case, then grab a cannonball. Oh, what? Okay, I have to get rid of something. Uh, damn it. Okay, the old pickaxes can go, I guess. Get me cannon ammo. Ensign Chacha, first mate Kayamba. Work with me here. So yeah, pretty much the different mechanics that this fight has is that you... Oh, shit. Well, we are off to a great start already. Someone pull me in. Sand is getting everywhere. It's not pleasant. That's why I hate going to the beach. Sand gets everywhere, even if you try not to get let it get everywhere. You cannot stop it. So yeah, back outside. Where the hell are those nincompoops? Alright. So it's just kind of... Swimming there, minding its own damn business. So, how do you fight him, you wonder? Well, using the ballistas, using the cannons. Those are probably going to be your best bet. Which is also why I went with this armor, because it does have the Bombardier ability on it, I believe. Which makes your cannonballs a lot stronger. Oh shit, take cover, take cover, take cover. He will toss rocks onto the ship. And as I was trying to say before I fell off the boat and inadvertently ruined what I was trying to say, pretty much you have to make sure that he doesn't wreck the boat. Oh shit, 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 run! Oh crap. And off I go again. See, that's why this fight is such a pain. You don't just have to take care of yourself, you have to take care of the boat as well. Pretty much if the Gen Moran wrecks the boat, it's shows over basically wait did one of them just use the hunting gong or no no I think that was Chacha's uh, Rathalos mask at least I hope that was the Rathalos mask uh, let's see ballista time oh crap what's kinda funny though is that you can actually block that attack yes you can block a gigantic dragon ramming into you with a puny shield for some reason. Anyway, we can walk on his back, which is great. Oh boy, careful, careful. You need steady footing though. Be really careful. And what you can do is you can mine on these blue things and get like stuff and some rare ores and that stuff. Anyway, the chest gives you some anti-dragon bombs, oh geez, which I will put on his body. Because, you know, for, for some reason, they're anti-dragon. I'm not exactly sure what that entails, but they do decent damage to him, I think. 
So I'm just going to put them on his tusks here because those need to snap off eventually. Oh, jeez. Hold it steady. I have no clue what Cha-Cha and Kayamba are doing right now. Oh, jeez. No, we do not want to jump off. All right, and back to poking a hole in his back. Ah, yikes. Almost went flying off again. That's going to be quite a pain. Using the gun lance, I guess, is not preferred against the Gen Moran. Oh, jeez. And I have no idea if he's actually weakest to Dragon or not, but I figured he was, so that's why I'm using the Obelisk again. If this is not one of the upgraded versions, might as well be. I mean, I'm using G-Rank armor, so the weapon's probably upgraded as well. Come on, get up. Ah, I hate this fight, it's so tedious. And so damn long. Oh, crap, he's... Oh, okay, so they can actually use the cannon. Okay, that's good to know. Henson Cha Cha, more cannonballs. Work faster or I'll throw you overboard. I'll have you keel hauled. Make you walk the plank. Piratey talk and everything. We are on a boat after all, and I am the captain. If only I uploaded this on Talk Like a Pirate Day. And quite frankly, I have no idea when Talk Like a Pirate Day actually is. Oh, damn. Oh, crap. Doing the backflip again. Don't worry, it will never land on the boat. So that's something. He's now just gonna pop up on the left. And look, it's another boat. And where the hell did that go? I did not mean to shoot that. Oh crap, there he is. Why is he there? That's gonna make him quite tricky to reach with the cannonballs. I guess the ballista still works. Ensign Kayamba, keep the Deluxe off my ass. Damn it, Kayamba, you're not doing your job. Where's he? Oh crap, he's going underground again. Guess it might be time to use the special weapon. I guess maybe I should have slapped a paintball on him, which is not really that important, but it can be kind of helpful. So that you can... Oh jeez, not good. Run, 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 run. Or put the shield up. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Ship integrity normal. Okay, we're... Oh jeez, we're still good. Not close to breaking just yet. But, so, how do you prevent him from body slamming the ship to hell? Well, that's what the hunting gong is for. It's like right here next to the mast. And it will stop him in his tracks. And then it needs to recharge for like five minutes. Where'd he go? Oh, crap, there he is. Cannonball. And tusk to the face again. Lovely. Cha Cha Kayamba, be helpful for once, please. That's all I ask. This fight is hard enough as it is. Like fire. Oh crap, he's gonna swing his tusks. Ooh. I can never put the shield up in time. Boat is still normal. No problem yet. Alright, more cannonballs. Or is he leaving again? Oh no, no, we can step on his tusks to get on top of him. Okay, that cannonball went absolutely nowhere. That was a waste. Alright, on we go. Board the creature. Impale its spines. Which is pretty much what we're going for. I think I'll stick to this side because that's less likely to get me knocked off. Alright, step back, lunge, poke, poke. This thing is generally not that easy to break. It will need quite a pounding. But yeah, it will snap. Oh, jeez. Did it break or... No, they were just the rocks the thing throws. Alright, then more poking. If... The thing does not break, you are simply not poking it enough. And apparently he's not really doing a damn thing to the boat right now. At least I'm hoping because I left those two nincompoops in charge. Oh jeez. Just hold her steady. While I keep poking your back. I mean, look at how... Oh, did I... Oh no, I didn't break it. He just staggered from something. Maybe one of those two idiots launched a cannonball into its mouth or something. No idea what they're up to. All I can tell is that, according to the map, they are still on the boat. God knows what they're doing, though. Wyvern Fire? Still not... Oh, jeez. Still not broken. We're hanging in there. We will get this done eventually. Oh, thanks for the recovery speed boost, which is really not something that I need. Because he's not really dealing any damage to me. It almost looks like he's not... Oh, there we go. That's one broken. Only one more to go. Which is a little further down on his tail. 
And back, I think I hit this one a couple times already, so this might be broken fairly quickly. Crap, reload. Alright, oh yikes. Land on his back, land. Yep, I'm gonna land on his back. Awesome, perfect landing. For some reason I ended up on my feet. I guess my guy is part cat. Nice. And poke him again. Multiple times, wish the Wyvern Fire would recharge. Oh, nice. Never mind then. Alright, oh jeez. Those things are broken. So no need to be on his back anymore. Unless you feel like mining. Which still you can only do once anyway. Back on the boat, nice. Nice uh, three point landing too, oh jeez. Oh come on, I hit the gong. I hit the gong just too late, apparently. Well, that's a waste. Well, I honestly have no idea what the proper timing is for using the anti gen Moran weapons. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Anyway, back to get more cannonballs, because really, if I'm going to use my weapon on this guy, it's not going to be very effective. Better off just using this crap. Oh crap, what's he going to... Damn it, my cannonball. Oh wait, I think it's still fired. I saw an explosion behind him. Ship integrity is still okay. More cannonballs. What the hell, I'm out of cannonballs? I can see plenty of them lying around over there. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Alright then, I guess we're gonna have to resort to either the ballista or my weapon. Better get more arrows. Oh, I hate this fight so much. It's a lot easier if you're playing this online with three other people, because then you'll be dealing a lot more damage and you'll get this done so much faster. Pretty much whenever I do this online, it lasts about 15 minutes, so we're... Oh jeez, it's all the way over there now. Time to ready the special weapon. I will not reveal what it is just yet, but I need to time this properly. If not, then I'm gonna get my ass kicked and the ship's gonna take one hell of a beating. Oh Jesus. Damn, he's a marksman with those rocks. Still, I took him to the face like a champ. Alright, he's digging underground. Wait for it. Wait for it. Someone start playing the Jaws theme in the background. Dun, 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 dun. I don't really remember how the rest of it goes. I don't think I've ever seen... Well, I've seen part of Jaws. Come on. Drill. Nice. I think that was about as good as the timing will get on that. So yeah, hit the button. Freaking drill from the front of the ship will extend and burrow into his chest. And that is worth a moment of cheering. Now, do we have more... I guess I really am out of cannonballs. Ensign Cha Cha, did you not load up enough cannonballs before we departed? You son of a bitch. Alright, out he goes again. And crap, I'm... Well, I guess I can Ooh, aim for his arm. That's one of his breakable parts as well. You can snap off both of his tusks, the holes in his back, and both of his... Damn it, both of his front arms. However, you will likely not be able to break his arms in this phase, because the fight does have a second phase, actually. Which is not really all that great either, in my opinion. Hell, he's even more offensive in that one. Well, he's not really being that offensive in this one. I guess he's slightly more aggressive in the second phase. Nope, oh, hunting gong is good for use again. I guess that's good. I need more arrows. Kayamba, what the hell are you doing? Stop dancing and start attacking. Uh, did I have that much damage that I needed a health recovery? I wasn't paying much attention because I wasn't close to dying. I don't generally pay attention to my health if I'm nowhere near dying. Anyway, more arrows. Which can somehow penetrate its rock-hard skin. I guess, okay, cannonballs, that's logical because they explode. But just arrows? They have to be some damn sharp arrows. Oh, crap. Oh, should have seen that one coming. Though usually it has a bit more of a wind-up to it. He kind of goes further out before slamming back in. I guess that one was pretty quick. Also, I need some more stamina. I guess we'll do that later. First, we will shoot the crap out of his elbow. Or maybe his tusk, because... Or maybe not, because they are kind of hard to hit when because he's moving his head around. Oh, nice, they can actually use the ballista as well. Oh crap, Delix. Someone get the Delix off of me, please. You have one job, you two. 
That is to support me. You are not doing a very good job, oh jeez. Careful. I guess that's not an attack, he's just wobbling around for some reason. Damn it, Delix, move. Tusks, bring the tusks back into view, please. Nice, there goes one of them. Pretty sure I can never hit the other one from here, though, so let's just keep the rest of his arrows on his arm. Oh crap, he's leaving. Okay, tusks. Yeah, nice. Still got one hit off. Uh, okay, we're we going to second phase yet, or nope, he's doing the backflip again. I kind of wonder how he doesn't just direct snap off his tusks with that landing. I mean, those things have to bear a crap ton of force. And once again, this is kind of what I was talking about. Ooh, final showdown. All right, second phase. With the uh, Diablos and everything, and how easy it moves through the sand. With such a creature this big, it makes even less sense. Because the sand would have to be so loose that a boat probably wouldn't be able to float on it. it would, like, sink right through if that thing does so easily. Unless it has some sort of magical earth-controlling powers. But yeah, second phase, the boat is no longer moving. And now it's slowly crawling towards you, and you are basically all there is between this monster and the city, which you can see in the background if you look the other way. So yeah, we are indeed the last frontier. Or uh, the last line of defense. What the hell was I talking about frontier? Anyway, he's roaring. I'm not gonna bother me because I'm way too far away from him. Uh, okay, ballista ammo is full. So, let's get to shooting. Let's see if I can actually hit him from here, because you do have to kind of take gravity into account. Nice, that's about good. What's he doing? Oh shit, rocks. Eh, he can't launch him that far, I think. Alright, come on. Hold the tusk steady. How am I supposed to hit him if you keep moving? Oh crap, that one was way too low. Oh crap, more rocks. I'm not getting... Oh jeez, that one almost got me. Guess he could probably use some accuracy lessons. Alright, more arrows. Oh crap, what's he doing now? Uh, that makes no sense. That's an attack, but I'm not even clo- Wait, oh shit. I think I just wasted the ballista binder. Yep. Fuck. Okay, I guess we have to wait for that to recharge. Ah, finally, cannonballs. Pretty sure he's not within range, though. Let's give it a go, see what happens. Boom! Yep, definitely not within range. Fine. Oh, crap, he is. Is he gaining? No, we're just shooting rocks. Come on, get over here already. Almost. If you would just step forward. Why is he so reluctant? I'm still not exactly sure why the hell he's even going for the city in the first place. He doesn't look particularly carnivorous. Then again, I don't really know what this guy eats. Because you would need a lot of plant life to support a herbivore this size. And he is... Pretty much always surrounded by Deleks, maybe they're scavengers. But really, what would this thing prey on? I guess it could scoop up a Diablos or something and chew it down to size, no problem. Anyway, he's close enough now, We're getting kind of too close, actually. Crap. You're gonna have to back off there, big fella. Unless you want more cannonballs to the face. Oh, crap. He's gonna swing. Or not. What is this? The body slam? Yup, it's the body slam. Oh, shit. God damn it. Oh. Was that the gong, or...? I have no idea what that was. Oh, shit. Ship's integrity is down to low. This is not good. I need more cannon ammo. Make it quick, make it quick, make it quick. What's he doing now? Rocks again? Yep, rocks again. He is not really hitting me all that much with that attack. Thank goodness. Alright, here, more cannon ammo. I need to hit his right tusk with that. It's never going to get broken if I don't hit it. And he's going to swing again. Out of range. Perfect. Just keep wasting everyone's time, big guy. Oh, nice. That one. He felt that one. Oh, sweet. He's down. Must get over there. 
Because if he falls down like this, you can get in his mouth and get a couple carves in. Which is pretty cool. Not a place you want to be though. More end scale. Alright, that's good. Can I get the second one as well before he gets up? And hopefully not swallow me. Alright, make a run for it. Or I can just hit his mouth a little. Oh, and... Okay, he didn't swallow me. That's good. No, uh... Crap, what was the... That the guy who was swallowed by a whale. I, I, I want to say Captain Ahab. But I'm probably wrong there. Ooh, Ballista Binder's back in business. That's good. I'm pretty sure Captain Ahab is not what I'm... Wasn't that Moby Dick? Did he get swallowed in Moby Dick? I have no idea. I'm kind of out of touch with all the uh, stories. Why the hell is he doing that? It's not ever going to hit me that way. Alright, Tusks, come on, snap off. Yes, yes. Body slam, out of range. Oh, crap, it wasn't the body slam. Ah, clever girl this one, he tricked me. Not sure if it's actually male or female. Yeah, yeah, ten minutes, whatever. My assumption is male, though, because females usually don't have tusks that are huge like this. I mean, pretty much every animal species that has horns or tusks, they're pretty much always either non-existent or a lot smaller when it comes to the females. Yes, Chacha, your fireballs are definitely helping. Alright, more cannon ammo. We can never have enough. Chacha, what the hell are you aiming for? Alright, still getting steady damage in. Chacha, seriously. I am taking you to the shooting range after this. Perhaps as target... Oh, jeez. Crap. Do not need more of those attacks. I need to get him to back away from... Oh, come on, I'm out of cannon ammo again? Okay, fine, I'm going into the field. Let's hope he doesn't step on me. That's going to end this fight real quick. Oh, nice, broke his arm, one swing. Nice, and the hunting gong is operational again. That's always good. I should have mined his back, though. There's no opportunity for that in the second phase. All right, more ballista ammo. Can never have enough ballista ammo. You know, Cha Cha, why don't you make yourself useful and gather the ammo for me, then bring it to me? Seems like a pretty decent deal. Here, have some ammo. Uh, hunting gong. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was not the proper time, but at least it'll get him to back off a little. Now, why the hell am I out of cannon ammo? That has never happened to me before. I'm not sure if that's actually supposed to happen or not. Anyway, ration, because I could always use some more stamina and I need to make some room for the hell of a lot of carves that I get after this. If I actually manage to kill this son of a bitch by myself. Which I'm kind of starting to doubt, seeing as how poorly this phase is going. Come on, crap. Stop shifting. Ah, to sharpen. After 23 minutes, not at all bad. Then again, I have hardly been hitting him. Oh, jeez. That knocks me off my feet. He's getting stubbed by his... Holy crap. Yeah, this guy is no joke. It's a good thing I'm wearing G-Rang armor. Otherwise, you get wrecked. Cha-Cha, that's not help. There we go, thank you. No, not the boat. Ah, oh, crap. I don't really see why it matters if the boat gets wrecked in this phase because you're no longer really riding on it. It's just kind of sitting here being stationary. But that is definitely weird. Uh... Where the hell is he going? Is he supposed to be clipping through the boat like that? I thought he was supposed to stay right in front of the boat. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that was a waste of the binder. But yeah, I don't have that much time remaining anyway, so... Boom! Still not much of an effect on him. And I think he's pissed now. Warning, oh shit. Oh, this is not going well. And I still have five minutes to go before the timer runs out and he automatically gets repelled. At least I assume he automatically gets repelled. Pretty sure that's what happens. Alright, Ballista. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not supposed to be that far off to the right because now he's completely out of Dragonator range. I'm never gonna hit him with that. That thing is he's gonna go straight ahead and he's nowhere near that. Also, he's kinda missing the entire boat. I am really not sure whether this is supposed to happen or not. Am I breaking the game? 
the game fucking with me again, but which it simply loves to do over and over and over again. Not as bad as the Pokemon games, but still. Ah, damn it. Alright. Warning, ah, crap. I'm not sure how many more hits it can take when it says warning, but probably not that many. Shouldn't take any chances. Just keep buying time. Hopefully I can get him to back off. I wish the gong would be operational again. That would be real helpful. That always drives him back a couple steps. I guess he really hates the sound. Then again, most of the digging creatures in this... Oh, nice. Perfect. Uh... Oh shit, he's got me cut off from the boat. I need... Come on, I need to get through. Thank you. Come on. Just want to get through. Run, run, run before he comes back down. Oh crap. Come on, gong. What the... Oh, he's roaring. I thought it was Cha-Cha again. Gong, come on. Yes. Push him back. Why the hell do I know do I not have any cannon ammo? Oh, five minutes. Okay. Five more minutes to live. That should be doable. It's not gonna be easy in any way, shape, or form, but it should be doable. It's like, yeah, I'm never ever gonna hit him with this. I'm what the hell is going on? I am 100 percent sure that he is not supposed to be that far over to the right. Or well left, his right actually. Well, I guess I might as well just keep slapping his hand. Probably not gonna be able to get around to his other arm again. And besides, I need to kind of keep an eye on the ship. And if I get stuck on his right side, I am never getting back onto the ship again. So let's not do that either. Jesus. Fucking backhands me. Oh, Ballista Binder, that's good, I guess. Crab, he's crawling closer again. Not good. So you can see the city in the background over there. Alright, back off, buddy. Or I can at least kind of slow him down. Oh, crap. Not gonna let him do anything. Nice. Shame the things retract over time, though. Seems like it would be pretty handy to keep him in place while you cut him to pieces. Alright, poke him in the... Oh, nice. Did I stagger him, or... Is that just his regular breaking free animation? Ah, <sighs> crap, crap, crap. Probably about three more minutes or so. Oh, this is gonna be so close. Would so suck if he breaks the boat after all I've gone. Wait, what? There's no more ballista ammo either? I can see the arrows. That is bullshit. Why the hell's the rigging twitching like that? I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen either. This mission is glitchy as fuck. What's he doing? Oh. Yeah, see, that's... He's supposed to be in the middle, so that hits him. Just, just my luck. When I do this mission, it glitches out on me and makes it a lot harder. Because the Dragonator does a hell of a lot of damage to this guy. Oh, crap. Shields. Yes, you can totally block that for some reason. Screw physics. I am rooted to the ground when I'm putting up my shield. Crap, he's doing it again. Shield. Nice. Chacha apparently does not know how to block. Kayamba luckily does. Courtesy of the ultimate mask. Come on. Again? Alright, fine. No problem for me. Does kind of take a hell of a lot out of my stamina bar. The oh, yikes. Almost stepped on me. I thought I could have sworn that was going to knock me down. At least... Not complaining. Oh, gong. Awesome. Better get that thing fired up because he is getting way too close. Oh shit. Kinda too late. Ship's still danger. Oh shit. How much more time? Couldn't see. Probably not that long. Come on, back off, buddy. I'm through with you. I hate doing this mission solo. I will never do it again. If you do this mission, for God's sake, do it online. Because this is just almost undoable by yourself. Crap, he's getting closer again. Come on, mission, anytime now. Time out. Crap. Oh, geez. okay, he's stepping back, I think. 
about like 1 minute and 17 seconds was, was that I think? Come on. Not much longer now. Have to do this. I am not redoing this shit. Hell, I don't know why I'm even doing this at all. I guess it's because I need to show this monster off, but really, I wouldn't have done this if I really didn't have to. Okay, binder, good. Can at least stall for a little more time. 48 seconds. Come on, come on. Just wait for him to get closer before I bind him. Pretty much not ever gonna kill him anymore. 30 seconds. Nice. I'm not sure how long that thing will hold him. I think like a good 10-15 seconds maybe. Maybe I can maybe still break his right arm before the uh, mission's done. That'd be pretty cool. Probably not gonna happen though. Wait, what's that? Something just came off, I think. Okay, 13 seconds. Counting down. Oh shit. Back away from that ship. Come on, can I still break his arm? Please, shoot, no. Two, one. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay, he's backing off. Go away, asshole. No one likes you. He's done with a piss poor run. Broke one tusk, one arm. Absolutely awful. Yeah, you better run. You son of a bitch. Ah, the city in the background is also not in the game. That is uh, the online hub for Monster Hunter Try on Wii, but for 3 Ultimate they made a different online hub. But it's still nice that I guess they still have that city in the game in one way, shape, or form. Ah, that sucked. Not a very fun mission, in my opinion. Oh well, only two more to go, both of which are probably likely to be even bigger pains in my ass. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And they're also about half an hour long, so yeah, it's gonna be one hell of a narrating job. Alright, I had better get some decent rewards from this, I know I didn't kill him, but still. That would be the ultimate insult to injury, give me crappy rewards on top of having to go through all this. Uh, at least Elder Dragon Blood is kinda rare, I think. Eh, still kinda meh overall. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, where we will do Mark of a Hero. Bye bye.